as you guys know, we are currently in the team of the season for League One. As you can see, look at the prices of these cards. I'm not gonna lie, this team of the season was better than I expected. I knew they'd be banging players like Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar, of course, which he isn't here, but he is incredible. But we have also got the likes of Lacazette, who was boosted phenomenally well. David was also boosted well. We've got Nuno Mendes, Marquinhos, Ben Yedda. And yeah, it's just an insane team, to be honest. I Just for you guys who haven't seen, obviously everyone's seen. But this Neymar right here is something else. 7.3 million coins. Look at the boost from his other card. It was a massive boost. And yeah, that's a brilliant card. But we also have this Super League team of the season which has Valencia who's still quite expensive he has got a three star week for so I'm not sure why but he does have the 99 pace with five star skills Barini is all right he's nothing great special though with the weak foot and skills Akadi does have five star weak foot Mertens has got five star skills but this team as a whole isn't too special to be honest no one really cares but today we're going to be going through my Serie A team of the season predictions because that is going to be the final league of team of the season as you guys know and then it will be ultimate and we'll be making a video separately on that explaining that etc but this was the vote i did a few weeks back and i'm not gonna lie i know what you're thinking where the hell's ozim hen well this was just my vote so i just put the bar because he's one of my favorite players of all time and yeah the rest of the vote was uh kind of chesney was just a preference i know my nan mignon my nan he deserves it uh and Kim Min Jae, uh, I don't know why they put him in the vote again. He's already got a community tot, so I don't know why he's in there again. But they made a mistake there. And yeah, the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. But I haven't included every player here in my prediction. Because I don't... Some of the cards I'm just not too excited for. But a lot of them I am. So the first player is going to be... It's going to be none other than Ozimhen. Now, what phenomenal season he's had. I'm sure... Either he'll stay for the Napoli project or he'll get a massive move in the summer. Mass a load of clubs want to buy him. And there's no surprise, his goal scoring record's been phenomenal. That mass dynamic would be insane for him. I really hope they give him like 5 star, 4 star or 4 star, 5 star. Just because he needs that to make his card a lot more popular. And he definitely deserves it. I think 97 rating is going to happen. 97 shooting, 99 pace. Imagine that dribbling as well. He'll be crazy in game. He'll be probably Lewandowski. A lot of people are calling him fodder because he's kind of just nothing special outside the um, the shooting department. But the same could be said about Ozymane. However, he has a lot more pace than Lewandowski. So I think he'll be a lot more popular. Maybe not as expensive because of links, but I think he will be very popular in the game. Next is Rafael Liao, another great season for him. I know it's not his MVP season last year. However, numbers-wise, I think he's done better this year or just as good. So I think 97, I think him and Ozymane to be the joint highest is probably accurate. Maybe they'll give him 96, but I think 97 is still deserved for Rafael Liao. He's still incredible. I don't watch the Serie A week in week out. However, I know he's been doing great. I know he's had a few injuries here and there, but I still think he'll get a high rating. As you guys know, EA are not rating the leagues based compared to each other. So the reason why I've given these guys 97 and Haaland's 97, I know. But EA just messed up with the Premier League. As you guys know, we've got 97 Musiala, cards like that. Let me just show you. So as you guys know, EA have kind of messed up with the squads, team of the season wise, rating wise. As you can see, Haaland's 97 when he's basically been the best player in the world. But then you've also got... Musiala 97, Bellingham 97, who have been phenomenal, but not Haaland level. And then, in the La Liga, for some reason, Vinny's only 95 rated, when I think he's been the best player out of La Liga. And then Modric, Benzema and Lewa all got 97. It's just confusing the way they've done it. And then they've given Messi 98, which is the highest out of everyone. Which, don't get me wrong, I think he's been phenomenal. I think he's going to win the Ballon d'Or, my GOAT. But... I don't think he should be 98 if Haaland's 97. Mbappe 97 is expected, but as you guys know, you can see they're rating it based off league. They're not comparing players from different leagues, which is why Liao and Ozimhen, I think, will get 97. Ozimhen will definitely get 97, I think, but maybe both of them will. And that will be a phenomenal card for Liao. Hopefully he gets... I think last year he had five-star skills on his tots. Uh, hopefully he gets that again. 
Now, Kavrat Shkelia has also been phenomenal for Napoli. I think his card's going to be very massively boosted, near max pace and dribbling for him. I hope he gets five-star skills. He deserves that. I think he already has five-star weak foot, so imagine a 5-5 five -five Kavrat Shkelia. I know his uh, nation links are poor, but Napoli links. Imagine this duo in champs. You are finished before the game starts. And I think he'll be boosted very nicely. I think this uh, Serie A Tots is going to be extremely slept on. And not many people are going to expect it. Every year, people sleep on it. And it's just incredible when it releases. Barella is the next player who should be getting him. He's always phenomenal every FIFA. He's very good on the ball with good dribbling stats. Great passing. He'll be like a pacey Modric. He'll be very nice, I think. Hopefully, five-star weak foot skills. Or maybe both. Who knows? But I think he'll get one of them. Next is Dybala now. He has had a great season for Roma. I'm glad to see him without injuries flourishing because he is a very injury prone player. He's one of my favourite players of all time because he's just like, I just love his play style. He's so good to watch, especially in the Juventus days. Like, even though the injuries kind of messed up with his career, it's still, he's still a phenomenal player. And this season he's been very good. And I think this is deserved 95 rated. He got a 96 last year for not doing much, but that was EA just trying to sell packs. But again, this year he's been better, but I still think he'll be less rated. He'll be 95 in my opinion, that's fair. Near max dribbling for him. I think he'll, hopefully he gets five star skills, but he does have a three star weak foot right now. So hopefully he's 5-4, but I have a feeling they're just going to make him four star, five star. Or maybe even 5-star, 3-star. Hopefully they don't do that. I just want it to be 4-star uh, week for 5-star skills. Because I think that's more accurate for him. But that's going to be a great card to use. I'm looking forward to that. Next is Theo Hernandez. Now, I think he'll be better than his team of the year. They've done it with other players in the team of the year. Like Modric. His team of the season is better. Bellingham's better than his team of the year. And yeah, I think this will be the same. He'll probably be the best fullback in the game. Stat wise, maybe not in game because he's a bit clunky when I use him every FIFA, but he's still phenomenal, so he should be great. Uh, Lautaro Martinez has had a great season, and I think this card I don't know if they'll boost him that well to be honest. Like, stat wise, he doesn't even look that good here, but I think if they maybe give him five star skills, that'll make it more interesting. He has been great though, and I didn't want to leave him out of the video because he's one of my favorite players in the Serie A. The final player I've included in the video is Di Maria. I think her moments would be suitable. He's had some great moments for Juventus this season, including that Europa League phenomenal goal. If you guys remember that one, that was where the celebration came from. But he is a phenomenal player, of course. Team of the season, I don't think he'll get. Juventus have been poor, to be honest. But he's been one of their best players, even at his older age than before, obviously. But yeah. That should be a great card if he comes out. His flashback, I mean, not flashback, his SBC, the World Cup one, was broken. So I think this one could be insane as well. But let me know what you guys think of the predictions down below. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. It's me, Master, and I'm out. Peace.